time to hear them talk about what we already knew because we saw it ourselves. <laughs> One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall before too long. It will appear everyone has returned. Oh, still just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Was he expecting more than six people to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team! What about Mukuro and Kusabi? <laughs> well, he doesn't know about that! <laughs> That's like rever reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we all stop this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. You're just jealous that you're not part of the group hug. Yeah. yeah. We're all hugging and he's just looking at us like... I want to be in that hug. But I can't be in that hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's I checked the all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be kind of suckers, job, but anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. I don't know why you guys still think there would be. But when I looked around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. A ceiling! Bathrooms? Wait, I don't remember the bathrooms. <laughs> Something on all the other floors without the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? Oh, I did not notice at it, all. <laughs> it was missing bathrooms, though. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was like, I wasn't sure if I just passed them or not. Uh, there aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Are we getting close to the end of the game? Unless there's a basement. Oh, wait, that's the corner. We're finally starting to get a clearer picture of the school. All this is now is to solve the underlying mystery. Well, that's the hardest part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, no. No, wait, no, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out no matter what it takes. Even if it means killing everybody, we'll get out. <laughs> <laughs> My concern is with the... <laughs> I thought that said bit bad. I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did I miss something? <laughs> My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or... We're not in a horror I game, though. That. It's funny, because they are. You don't, you don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother to give about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. You're telling me I can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Also, I bit my tongue. That really hurt. <laughs> 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 I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. No, how I say it is right too. Well, there's a big garden up in the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken- oh, bitch. <laughs> Monokuma said that that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seemed dangerous, so we have to be careful. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the ones that live in the pipes, though. Da -da 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 anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7:30 on the dot. Oh yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Well, you don't have to worry. They say AIDS never catch colds, you know. Yeah, I'm a living proof of that. Of course not, cause idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? Hey, come on! You don't always have to call me dumb! I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid! <laughs> but if it'll make you happy, I'll answer a dumb question. So, uh, what was the question again? Don't worry, you just answered it. Well, if you got held back three times, was it all within the same year, or were it, like, all different years? Like... They still got held back three times. I, I mean, know, but it's all mean, it's like three years. It's either there that he three years no matter what. You also have to talk to him more because there's like Oh right, 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 right. Well my concern is my my the reason why I asked is that if he got held back three times in the same year, that would be incredibly more embarrassing than being held back every like other year. You can't be you know? held back within the same year because the year doesn't progress within the year. You well, can't be I, like dropped down a grade in the well, middle. Well, no, of the I grade. meant like I meant like if you were in like fifth grade, for instance, and you got held, if and then you didn't pass and you got held back, you've been in fifth grade three times in a row, right? That's what uh, I'm saying. But like, I see but like, you if mean, you yeah. got if you got held back once in fifth grade, and then you got held back once in seventh grade, and then you got held back once in like tenth grade, that's what I meant. 
hard yeah, to say. You, I don't you're know. You're still held back three times, and that says a lot. I know, but being held back in the same year three times, it's a little yeah, bit more embarrassing. Yeah, because it doing the same thing three times, and you still can't pass. Yeah. I'm just saying one's more embarrassing than the other. Anyway, it's fine. Hey, fuck, uh, it seems like Toko wants to say something. Joe, why are you telling me? Because when you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I forgot your budget. Oh, Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop all of us in your future breath, I won't stop you. Fuck you. Fucking fuck you. Oh my god. Toko, please. I hate them both. Oh, oh my god. god, you idiot. I don't hate Toko, I just pity her because she's so fucking stupid. You honor me, master. I'm so worried. I took care of the odor problem. Ah, seriously, you're just gonna take it? Shut up and don't interrupt with master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, when I was in the classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. What the fuck? Oh, okay, <laughs> you just found a oh, knife? Fucking Holy knife. shit! Imagine if we were in the classroom being like, Hey, Toko, what's wrong? And she couldn't talk and she just pulls out a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it was this. A oh, knife? Wow, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. It's just a 5 0 knife of some type. Was that the knife that we saw on the, the dead person? I fucking can't remember what was in the, in the dead person. I just remember their mask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what was it doing in the classroom? How would I know? What are you gonna do that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? You're not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife just laying around. Aren't there knives in the kitchen? There are. Yeah. A yes. Rambo knives? Well, I mean, well, I was just like thinking like you could just get knives anywhere and just like stab someone and it wouldn't be like a. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather have it laying around in the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. What a visceral reaction to that. <laughs> Listen, more important. Now that we have a knife, what are we gonna do with it? Eat it. We can't Eat let it. Toko keep it. That's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I don't Let's want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Oh, so what to do? So Maybe just important. leave it in the yeah. kitchen. <laughs> You're making me hold on to it. I don't want it. You guys gonna well, think yeah, I killed God. someone? Like, from the capsule machine. Why not? You guys are gonna yeah, think yeah. I killed someone. You guys are gonna think I killed that person. Huh? Yeah, Me? So we have to hold it. <laughs> yeah, let Makoto do it. Oh, yeah, I totally trust Makoto to care, take care of it. Yeah. And that's that. Yeah. Hold on, don't <laughs> I get a say? It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're literally, I already said yes. Fine. You just have to push over. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's <laughs> I all I I'll wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Ah, do, do I still have bad breath? So, sorry, yes. sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm sure it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. You made a very good discovery. Good job. <gasps> huh? 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 Did Master just praise me? Hey, good for you. Okay. Don't encourage it. What the fuck? <laughs> Mika, ah, I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. Oh, that I would heroics me such a dream. Ah, yeah, no, I, I feel strange. Ah, so strange. Really strange. Oh no. Ah, oh, go away. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Whenever I look at Togo these days, it makes me feel real sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we have to go through all of them? There was a bunch yeah. of chickens in the chicken coop, right? That's right, five, five chickens. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. There definitely is only five. Oh, I got chicken. Tiny there too. <laughs> Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Oh, how about raw? Cause there's nothing fr sure oh, than raw, no. right? <laughs> you know. Oh, I'm pretty sure now I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll die. Oh shit! Damn it! <laughs> I got tricked! Damn it! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she actually said something a little bit different, but that's good that she did. Okay. You notice it too, huh? The pickaxe? Yeah, the pickaxe. Oh my god. Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And it had the words notch on it. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? <laughs> <laughs> crazy dot crazy diamond? Yeah, that does sound kinda of familiar, I think. I don't just think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? See? Azahina doesn't remember either. Oh that's it, I remember. 
It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. Crazy that it said that. You're absolutely right. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Mondo must have stuck that in there and done it, right? But we have access to the garden until today. Then maybe Bono, Mondo brought it with him in the, when he first came here, Mondo come a come for dinner. What? Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call <laughs> for help. What? How are you gonna call help with the lawnmower? <laughs> Just send it flying into the sky like that one video. I don't oh, know, maybe we can use it to make crop circles or something. Upset. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Crop and we can use, building. use those to call for help. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. Well, back then, my personality hasn't quite solidified yet. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Oh my god. Is that it? Am I done? I'm so Who didn't we talk to? I thought we talked we to everyone. We didn't talk to someone. Kyoko? Did I not talk Kyoko? to her? No, I did. No, the big room, you know. We did talk to her. So it was either Byakuya or Hina we didn't talk to. Might have been Hina. Oh. But you, you, you find it the strange woman fish for? Well, now strange is a massive understatement. The smell of fresh and fat and blood. The white outlines of the country's cuffs. It was more dreadful than anything I ever covered here for a while. I thought I'd forgotten about that, to be honest. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody smell. Concentrate. Good, because I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna bat barf just hearing you describe it. But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there! Stop! Seriously, I'm gonna throw up! Perhaps that's what it was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? You just did the same thing then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident that happened one year ago. That, that awful scene in that room? That was the tragedy that happened one year ago? Eye for an eye. Hmm. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Peak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hope Peak was forced to close the doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's also just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. That's right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still. How is it not one of us ever heard something about that, like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Oh shit, I was like wondering why we were zooming in. I was like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can get you all the new information we have for now. So, now what do we do? Well, Sonny TJ, you're all in my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. Oh jeez, how huh, huh, cock- eh, what? How cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through that ceiling if your head gets any bigger. So what is it you wanna figure out? Kyoko's identity. Huh? Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Yes, but who is she? The rich of us have a clear definable reason for having me selected to attend Cope Peak Academy. He is the ultimate swimming pro. He was the ultimate ult whatever clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the unopened uh, whatever. More unlucky than unlucky these days, huh? So what about Choco? Can anyone tell me what she is? She's the ultimate... Best hottie. character. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, she never told us. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoto, it's time for you to tell us. I can't. Why? Why won't you tell us? I didn't say I won't. Yeah. I said I can't. Well, what do you mean? Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. No memory? You mean... Amnesia? If I don't, you had a sense of humor. I said you were joking, but if this is a joke, I am not laughing. You can't be serious, right, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me, and that's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. Whatever. So you have no intention of telling us, then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you going to do? Torture me? Nothing so bad, I that. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any suspicious activity. Limit my options? Give me the key to your room. What the fuck? You pervert. No. <laughs> what if she gives you a room key? You should get out of sleep in a room! She'll be breaking the school regulation! 
And if she doesn't want that chill shock, it's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Well, she also could just, like, not give you her room key. <laughs> what are you yeah, going to do? Force it out just of her? Like, nah, bro. Just hold on a thread like that. Fine. I understand. Did you finally in the mood for conversation? Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Bakuya and smack him. Smack him in the face. Damn it. Smacked. I thought fucking smack him in the face. Held out her room key to him. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Maybe she really did lose her memory. Well, if you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. The worst school where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? I mean, there's a bathhouse, so it really can't be that bad. <laughs> we have five much. chickens. That's true, we also have five chickens in the chicken coop. Kyoko then turned back her back on us without a word and began walking away. Where you think you're going? Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. So where is she going to sleep then? Ooh, now that- Five chickens. <laughs> well, what's her deal? She can't sleep anywhere, because they're not allowed to not sleep in a room. Yeah. Think... So she can't go to sleep. <laughs> I think you went too far taking your room key like that. I'll let her in my room. For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of you beating, your heart beating, it grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... But what's Coco going to do now? Plus the situation, it's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. What? What? Kill what? <laughs> ah! What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cast luck! Who wants you? How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very angry! <laughs> angry at what? At the thief! Yes, that's right! I'm very sad to, say, to tell you there's a thief in your mess! A what? My precious, they stole it! You're precious. Your teacher has such faith in you, and this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away from their, into their fantasies. What the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all you get stuck in hiring freeze and die penniless on the street! And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that means? Huh? Who else other than her would be willing and steal, able to steal Kirti from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what is it? And why would she do that? And why did fucking Monokuma come in here saying that someone stole a thing without telling us what the thing is? And, and why would he say- fourth question. <laughs> now 10, blah blah blah, go to sleep, whatever. Uh oh, we need to get out of here. We can talk about this more tomorrow. What about Kyoko? However, after what happened with Marikoma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions today. Stay in your room and don't go running around. Not like we need you to tell us that. Why well, then you're just best. I see you all tomorrow. Okay, so this has only been day one. So in two yep. more days, that person is gonna die. Following yep. his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Oh, that's right. I need to put away that knife I got from Toko. I think the safest place would be in my desk drawer. <laughs> But anyway, Kyoko, is Kyoko really gonna be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she gonna do? Isn't there something I can do? Yeah, let her into your room. We'll have a sleepover. Yeah. Nothing bad will happen. There she is. Ding. Hello. Uh, as I open my eyes, I realize I fall asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Moshi Moshi. It's Coco. <laughs> Kyoko? I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. It's not suspicious in the slightest that she's always coming here, being like, Come here, meet me here, and then leaves. <laughs> I know we're not well, supposed to go out during nighttime, but well, she can't... it's because of the camera thing. Yeah. Well, no, I get, I get, like, why she does it so quickly, but, like, the camera can catch her going to his room, being like, blah, 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 and then leaving. And then he leaves, too. Like, isn't that not, like... But still suspicious? They're going to the dressing room, which is in the bathhouse, which doesn't have a camera, so that they can yeah. talk. 
I can't just not go. Does the, does the hallways not have cameras? They oh, do. The I mean, too. they can tell where they're going, but they can't hear or see what they're talking about is what is the point yeah. of it. Right. Sorry for asking you to meet me with, with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does that have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I couldn't tell it was... I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of this kind on Earth. Where did you get this? From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. What? It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Remember what she said in her note? I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. So that we can uncover whatever secrets may lay hidden within. So Monokuma wasn't able to notice that someone was going into the headmaster's room? She did that Ooh, for us. Sakura or Kyoko? Monokuma wasn't able to notice Kyoko who? going in. Notice who? Kyoko? She went in, right? Think about why. When would she have done that? I think it might explain it. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday, but if I just scrolled into that room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct, I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. That was so quick, though. She went in for, like, just a split second. I took the opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Did you find okay. out about this Mukuro Iksaba while you were in there? I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all about the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mukuro Iksaba whatever is dangerous. D dangerous? She may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say the headmaster was probably the mastermind? No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. Also, she says that she had amnesia and doesn't remember what her, like, thing is, but... Does that also include her name? Is she the no, Iksaba? She, she remembers her name. <laughs> well, you don't know that. Wait, would, we don't she, know would she tell us her name? <laughs> what if she just made up a name? I don't know. Or what if someone just gave her a name? Her name is in her notebook. Whatever. But if it is in the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikisawa really could be the mastermind? Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't! Wait, That's wait, way too Mikoto. dangerous! You want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us. But it didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky? Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have been a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's what's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. What I think might happen if you fail, I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all, with minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rule as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decided to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove this hypothesis. What? In a moment of crisis, the, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But, but! If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. 
her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the anime standing before us and with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel and wouldn't if I could. And Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. <gasps> that means something's gonna happen to her. Oh no. Oh no. Something's gonna happen to my girl. Oh no. If something happens... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Oh no, she's gonna die. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Damn it, damn it. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. No, you're not. She's gonna die. She gon' dead. Yes, of course. She gon' dead. She gon' dead. dead. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance a mastermind might find out, right? Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. You, you gotta stop fucking doing that. I can't just forget that easily. Okay, then shall we begin? I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to work to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot it fell in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine. Oh no, she did. She won't did. She won't die because it's Kyoko. <laughs> Talking to myself helps shake off some of the anxiety. Oh no! No! Kyoko's gonna fucking die! Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here! I've got a bone to pick with you! Then a few moments later. Well, well, this is a surprise, you being the one to call me out. Hey, by the way, huh? What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys were moved to conform with local international censorship laws. <laughs> All over her, didn't you? What? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever, unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bat scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X-rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens get all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? <sighs> Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. Anyway, you went all through all that trouble to get me out here, so now what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Wait, I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. Uh, actually, there is. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> then what am I? My entire existence... That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. What did you really want to ask me? Well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or... Your sign bre... What? Earth Breeding? Sign. What's an earth sign? Ursa means bear. That's a bear. Oh. This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you! It was a key and be That's it! What? what was that second thing? <laughs> it's a blank, stupid! A secret! Fill it in yourself! It wasn't a blank, it was like, censored. If you wanted a blank, you should've underscored it. <laughs> Making me try all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours! And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out! Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. <sighs> I hope I kept them distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she'll be fine, right? You guys probably should have talked about when's a good time to, like, stop distracting him. Of course, what if she's still in there and oh, you just yeah. stopped it? Yeah. Oh no, she's dead, isn't she? Really oh, she go <laughs> oh, she gone dead! Oh no! She gone dead. She gone dead! I went back to my room and laid down no, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back don't. to sleep. You didn't even try to love for her! Oh. So you didn't even try to love her? Look for <laughs> her! <laughs> oh. Monokuma Theater brought to you by Spike Chunsoft. Oh god, this. What? What the? <laughs> what? This looks like something Sick. out of dreams. <laughs> it does! What is happening? It's like Gary's mod. <laughs> I mean, go Sakura. She's like okay, gonna. It's that... honestly worse than Gary. It's that game that, like, we played when it first joined Zomatic. 
This remember? is li this literally looks like something out of dreams. Are was this made in dreams? What the fuck is happening? Dreams didn't exist when this game came out. I'm shaking his butt. What? I mean, that's a very nice thing to say about Jir about dreams. Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. So of course, enough people like Dango Rumble, who knows why? But copies for you and orphans. <laughs> <laughs> this game's weird. Yeah. That's why it's good. <laughs> huh? This super, sty super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development, but it'll back up again if Dango Robot sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends too. Did All it right, come out? Everybody watching, buy Dango Rampa and maybe. <laughs> this game has been out for like. <laughs> Sucker's <laughs> Revenge. Make more. <laughs> Hasn't this game been out for a very long time? <laughs> yes. Did it work? Yeah. <laughs> Did it work? Do we have the Sucker game? Was it a real game? I don't think that was a real game. Aww. <laughs> Oh god, Sakura is dead. I mean, not Sakura is dead, Sakura is dead! <laughs> I meant, yeah, I know Wait, Sakura's already dead! I meant Kyoko! Wake up and remember, oh, Sakura's oh. dead! <laughs> My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I, woke, I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get onto the dining hall. No, Kyoko! <laughs> Kyoko's gonna die! But it hasn't been three days, so it's fine. No! <laughs> Kyoko is going to die! Oh god. I'm sure she'll be fine. No, you're oh. lying to me. You're lying. We have her letter. It's She's fearless. Fine. No, she dead. She gone dead. She dead. Look, she's not here. <laughs> you wanted me to take my culture. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great yesterday. You really think a tidy skin like that is going to work? She's Huh? Fine. Are you allowed to talk again? I can't recall giving you permission. Huh? Oh, I just, I mean, since the hit pattern made me reset. Oh, sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my question was, I'll set the. I'll hang a sign with my next thing. Back out. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. <laughs> if you stop making disgusting comments like that, I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. As long as you, she's just gossiping to the phone. Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning because she's dead. Well, that's cool. This is worth it being late for lunch. For a date, for your wedding, or anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday. She's not gonna show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just to keep quiet. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she's doing. I, don't, I know she's not in her room, so. Oh, yeah, you still have her key, right? Are you looking for me, Kikiri? Kikiri? What? What do you want now? <laughs> I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? D do you know where she is? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Oh, huh? You don't know either? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here to try and punish for information. Huh, hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some sort of indie bullcrap? I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness, it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Bitch is missing! Maybe the mastermind can't control us, mo monitor us, and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? So was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigi? Any idea where she might have gone? We had no idea. Oh god, why are you guys in the same room? Uh, anyway, even if we didn't know, we wouldn't tell you! Oh, for serious! Mm, I see! Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? It would seem that way. <laughs> Excuse me. Where the heck is she had gone? <laughs> Don't you think we should all go look for her? How would you suggest we approach that task? Even when Akuma can't seem to look at her. Oh, yeah, how could he not know where she is? So strange. Koko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? Is there anyone that would check all the bathrooms? We spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Kyoko, no. Is it free time? It's free time music. Oh my fucking god. Breakfast I don't didn't help me get more people. <laughs> yeah, who am I gonna free time with? Ugh, every I single mean, you time. Go to bed and skip it. <laughs> um, Is there anyone out of the people can... who are here <laughs> that you wanna.